Dante, how long have you lived here? Well, tell us where you live first and how long you've lived We here. live in Winfield, but I've lived in Putnam County my entire life. Okay. And how have your last 24 hours been? Honestly, they haven't been bad at all, but I think my biggest frustration is the fact that the Putnam County Commission dropped the ball on this. We've seen posts and comments of the Kanawha County Commission providing their citizens with locations, pertinent information that was crucial to people's existence right now. And we've had to get our information via Steve Bishop, thank goodness for him, from V100. He has kept us apprised of all the uh, important uh, water placement distribution and everything like that. But our Putnam County Commission has dropped the ball and they have not been even available for comment. What else would you like to see the Putnam County Commission have done better specifically? They need a strategic plan for safety for this entire community. Um, water, power, sewer, whatever the attack may be, they need a uh, critical hazard plan in place in order to be activated immediately without people having to scramble and struggle. The plan is implemented and instituted the minute the crisis happens. So how many hours could you tell us just in like a full sentence, this is how many hours it was, it was this many hours before we found out. Can you just tell us that? Uh, from the time of the announcement, which was about, I got the first announcement about 6 o'clock via text message. Um, we knew nothing until 12.30, 1 o'clock uh, yesterday afternoon for initial information, and that's only because the county commission returned a phone call to me, and that the annou actual announcements were not being made till after 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And what time did the leak occur that you know of? My knowledge, the leak uh, initially was reported at 10.30 that morning, uh, but as far as contamination, we weren't alerted till much later that evening. And what do you think the role of the DEP has been in all of this? Have they done a good job, the Department of Environmental Protection? I think they have because they can only do with what they have knowledge of and uh, there's too many secrets that have been kept. There are too many people trying to cover their backs and protect themselves and I'm not really sure that once they say the water is okay that it's actually going to be okay. I think it's going to be a matter of they want to get past this crisis as soon as possible. So, at this point, you don't even necessarily trust your elected representatives or public officials? No. Okay. So, can you tell me, can you say that for me in a statement? I, I think, and it's not so much the public officials, I think it's West Virginia American Water, I think it's Freedom Enterprises. I feel like they want out from under this as soon as possible. Now, I think West Virginia American Water has gone above and beyond with what information they too have been provided. Freedom Industries is at the bottom line of this. Uh, they were acquired two weeks ago um, and they were combined with three other entities here in the state. So they are relatively new uh, representatives of that company, the hierarchy of it. So they've came in in a bad situation. Maybe they didn't have their grounding, their footing. However, if they've been in this line of business their entire life, they know what hazardous protocols should be and they should have alerted everyone much sooner. How did you feel about the press conference that the president of uh, Freedom Industries gave? I'll just repeat what I put on Facebook. Fabulous. We have a Simon Cow of the chemical plants. Sorry to have been a bother to you, old chap. Do you think um, the fact that he's not from around here helped his cause? I, I don't think it matters where you come from. I mean, in this day and time, I think we're all open-minded enough. It doesn't matter where you live, where you come from. I, I think that the bottom line is just the safety of the people. And this was just uh, an inconvenience to him. What would you like to see uh, done in the future, both short-term and long-term, about this? Well, they had the uh, original act posted that all the flush valves should have been replaced. But the state grandfathered West Virginia American Water for doing that. But West Virginia American Water in the state uh, 
mandated that hospitals, nursing homes, schools, these types of venues had to replace the, the back flush valves. But West Virginia American Water has not done that uh, because the state allowed them to be grandfathered under that clause. So those back flush valves should have been changed as regulated and also they should have shut the water, the intake downs immediately as soon as any threat occurred. Um, and what about the DEP? They're not in, they haven't been ma investigating or maintaining these sites. They haven't been looking at these sites. So what do you think about that? I think that the changing of hands of this company had a lot to do with that. Who do they talk to? Who do they contact? They're changing hands, that type of thing. I think that had a lot to do with it there. And since you are a longtime resident, can you tell us anything else about just life in the Chemical Valley and your relationship with, with the environment? My entire family worked at the chemical plants. Um, it's a part of who we are. The coal is a who we are. Um, could it be handled better? Yes. Um, but going to each other's throats is not going to help. We, there's got to be a camaraderie and people have to come together and agree upon things rather than just pointing fingers and blaming. Um, we've been swimming and drinking chemicals our entire life in this valley. We didn't know it. It's just been the way of life. Uh, cancer is monumental in this area. The long-term effects of what has happened right now we'll never know for many generations to come if anything comes from it. So, but the biggest thing is people can't keep continue to blame, blame, blame. We've got to work together with our representatives and try to come to a mutual understanding and agreement where we're all safe. Is there anything that you want people to know that you don't think has been told or represented in the media so far? I think the biggest issues is the rural areas are not being given access to the water buffaloes and fresh water. They're having to drive many distances to, to get to that water rather than the water being taken to them. My concerns are the families out on Red House, um, you know, Pliny, all these different places where some of the elderly can't get out and get access to these things. Um, I think Kanawha County has been covered well and they have handled it beautifully and our county has dropped the ball. I have to come back to that. I think they dropped the ball. They're not providing for its citizens. Um, and have you seen much national news media on this coverage? Aaron Brockovich was supposed to have landed last night with a team of investigators. So I'm looking forward to seeing what she finds. Yeah. Do you have anything else that you would like to add? I would like for Putnam County residents to stay safe, stay calm, be supportive. Uh, we've got people handing out water up at uh, the courthouse. Stop by, take them some safe coffee <laughs> made from fresh water, take them some donuts, take them some sandwiches, help them out. They're giving freely of their time to take care of us, so let's give back to them. And I have one more question. Um, can you tell us what your business is and how it's been affected? Um, we've had to shut down uh, because we can't expose the children to the water. And what is your business? A dance studio. All right.